you know, self-medicate or what have you. So we did that for a long time and then it was just a battle. It was a battle for a year and a half. We'd find it, he'd get in trouble. It was just kind of back and forth on and on. I don't know really all the details yet, but at some point he apparently got some, um, what he thought was Percocet. And we didn't find this out till after he passed away. And so, um, so I don't know if he did that because we were testing him for THC or what really happened, but one morning um, I was leaving to go on a business trip and I walked up the stairs to, um, to say goodbye. And he didn't answer. And so I got closer and, you know, I leaned down to kind of like, you know, shake him and, and wake him up and he was gone. Ah! And he had been gone for a long time. He was really cold. Oh my God. You are not I just walked up here to say goodbye and I think he's dead. My husband was already at work, so, you know, first you're in disbelief, you know, you're like, his room was always really cold, and we'd gotten a new AC system, and so at first I thought, we just need to warm him up, you know, <laughs> just crazy thoughts, but I knew he was gone. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, please. 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 Oh, please